I'll go teach. Oh, thanks, Ishikawa. You really like weird things, don't you, Ishikawa? You realize if you make her your girlfriend, you're gonna have a pretty boring time, right? I'm literally just taking some homework to her. My classmate Kawaguchi took off school today. She lives opposite to my house, but no one was willing to go to her house, so I volunteered. Alright, I'm counting on you! My name is Minato Ishikawa. I'm a junior in high school. I'm a huge fan of a new idol called Riko. <laughs> I'm an otaku. I'm not good with handling Miss Kawaguchi. Anyway, going back to the original story, I don't really have any interactions with Miss Kawaguchi. She's very quiet. She wears thick glasses and has long, dark hair. She's usually covering her face with her hair, too. She's basically a boring girl. But it's not like I don't like her. Yes? How can I help you? Huh? What's going on? Somehow, the idol that I follow, Riko, was there! Sorry, if it's homework, I'll take it from you. She closed the door in a hurry. She looked identical to Riko. I was so surprised that I almost sprinted away from Miss Kawaguchi's house. N no way! That... that was totally Riko! I am a huge fan of Riko! She's got huge eyes and long black hair that goes down to her hips and an amazing body. I... I would never mistake her. She was definitely Riko. Why is Riko at Miss Kawaguchi's house? The next day, I'll take the homework. What's going on, Minato? Why are you being super proactive? Did something happen between you two? N no. You're acting sus. I needed to know the truth behind yesterday's events. I rang the doorbell, and the door slowly opened. I knew it! You're Rico! Just as I had predicted, Rico answered the door. What? Hang on, be quiet! I'm inside! Huh? I was panicking. Rico dragged me into her house. Um, why are you at Miss Kawaguchi's house, Rico? I'll explain later. No, no, explain now! Rico said that and looked slowly at me. Um, I know this is sudden, but can you go out with me? What? I don't understand at all. Why is Rico at Kawaguchi's house? And why is Rico asking me out? I was so confused that I could feel myself losing consciousness. Please, Ishikawa? I came back too from her saying my name. Uh, why does Rico know my name? I really don't understand what's going on! Uh, I get it. Rico took me to her living room. She took a seat on the sofa and started looking at me. Simply put, I'm Kawaguchi in your class. What? Kawaguchi? That boring girl? Yes, that boring girl. And I am Rico, the idol. Those words smacked into my head as if I was being struck by lightning! I didn't realize that you were Rico at all! That's because I didn't want anyone to know. I see. That makes sense. It would be pretty annoying for everyone to know that you're an idol. Exactly. Hang on. I need to calm down. I really can't breathe correctly with my favorite idol standing in front of me. What's going on? Uh, oh, <laughs> nothing! That's okay, but you're sweating a storm. You're just seeing things! I was so nervous that I suddenly started talking to Miss Kawaguchi as if I was talking to an elder! Her beautiful black eyes were looking in my direction. I felt like I was about to bust a nosebleed just staring into those eyes. Wait, she just asked me to go out with her. This must be some kind of dream, right? Uh, you wanna go out with me, right? You're joking! No, I'm serious! Yeah, wait, you're serious?! We both fell into a silence after that. I got some hot cocoa from her, and I was starting to finally calm down. So, why did you want to go out with me? I want to quit the entertainment industry, actually. What?! No! Why not? Because I'm a huge Rico fan! You're a fan of mine? Yeah, so I don't want you to quit! But... I want to spend my high school days like a normal kid. My mom said no. Ah, uh, 
You should listen to your mother, then. You're so kind. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh my god, her smile. It's amazing. She's so cute. But I don't know how that leads to us dating. Well, my agency doesn't allow any romance, so if I have a boyfriend, I have to leave. Uh-huh. So I figured if I date you and tell the agency, I can leave. That's pretty far-fetched. But that's all I can do. Please, date me. I mean, if that's what you want, I personally agree 100% with this plan! Thank you. I knew you were super kind, so I wanted to ask you. Wait, what do you mean? I said this before, too, but I really don't think I'm that kind. No, I always watch you in class. Watch? I can be excited, right? Thanks. Yeah, I'm so happy that you're here right now. I'm sorry for using you like this, but I figured you could be my pretend boyfriend. I see. I'm a little sad that Rico is going to be leaving the entertainment industry, but... If that's what you want to do... Yeah, sorry. Okay. Then I'm going to pretend to be your boyfriend starting tomorrow, okay? Okay! And that's how I started pretending to be her boyfriend, and she started pretending to be my girlfriend. So what exactly do you want me to do while we pretend to date? Um, how about we start going home together tomorrow? Yeah, sure. And so, I left her house. Miss Kawaguchi, let's go! What's going on? Are you two dating? Huh? Yeah. Seriously? Why would you date that boring girl? Who cares? Don't act all cool just because you've never had a girlfriend. Yeah, that's not what's going on. Just go away. Sorry, I'm surrounded by idiots. Oh, okay. I haven't had this kind of interaction at school, so it's fun. She smiled. I could see her eyes past her glasses and realized how beautiful they were. I almost never looked at her face. She really is cute. What's going on, Ishikawa? Huh? You're just kind of standing around. Uh, why don't we just go home? Yeah. Why did you become Rico? My mom applied for a job position without asking me. Oh, so it's not like you wanted to be an idol? Yeah, I don't like this job, so I want to quit. I see. I'm sad that Rico will be going, though. But I want to speak for all otakus when I say, we want you to be happy. You're really kind. I am glad I asked you to be my boyfriend. If you're happy with me, you're completely different from Rico, though. But this is the real me, so... I see. Are you disappointed? Of course not! I think the regular you is just as good. That phrase just came out, but I wasn't lying. Thank you. I know I hadn't talked to you much before, but I regret it and wish I had. <laughs> You're really nice. She turned around and looked at me. She sighed and started walking home. Afterwards, we would go on dates and whatnot. We started getting closer. You're actually really smart, huh, Miss Kawaguchi? Not at all. You actually have really good grades. Is that surprising? I'm a little offended. <laughs> You're usually asleep in class. How do you know? Because I see you well from where I sit. I see. I thought that she actually liked me for a second, but I'm just her pretend boyfriend. What was I thinking? She's so cute. I mean, it, it makes sense because she's Rico, but... How am I talking to her without freezing up? What's going on, Ishikawa? Oh, nothing. There's no point in my even being nervous. I'm just her fake boyfriend. I went home from school as usual. But something happened today that doesn't normally happen. Her mom was standing at the entrance. And when she saw us, her face lost all color. Who is that? My boyfriend. What are you talking about? You're forbidden to like anyone. Doesn't matter. The agency has forbidden it. Why would you be so selfish? Because I like him. What? She likes me? Oh yeah, that was technically the story. I'm sorry. I like her too. What are you talking about? She's the most important part of her career right now. 
Mom, I've been saying I want to quit for a while now. But you're my only hope. You know I wanted to get into the entertainment industry. Um, I think that she should live her own life, and you shouldn't just choose things for her. You're just saying that because you don't want to break up with her. What are you saying, Mom? Stop getting mad at him. I'm sure he's just around you because he found out you were Rico. Go away. He would never do such a thing. We're going home. Kawaguchi! Sorry, Ishikawa. I'll call you later. She stopped coming to school for a little while after that. Of course, I couldn't even contact her on her phone. Hey, why are you dating Rico? You're kidding? I thought you were dating Kawaguchi. What are you talking about? You're so dense. Have you read any of the news? This photo with Rico, that's you, right? Huh? There was a photo of us at the zoo a few days ago. It did look more like Rico than Kawaguchi. Explain yourself! Are you cheating on Kawaguchi? No! I can't explain right now. After school, I headed straight to her house. However, there was already a crowd of journalists waiting, and they started questioning me! You must be Rico's boyfriend, right? No! But this is definitely a photo of you and Rico! Miss Kawaguchi's door opened at that moment, and Rico came out! Yes, that is him. But we are just friends now. Your agency doesn't allow any romance, does it? Yes, I just spoke to my CEO, and let him know that I will be retiring from the entertainment industry. Apparently, everyone was over the whole dating thing after she announced she would be retiring from entertainment. They all ran towards her. I looked at Miss Kawaguchi. She looked upset and sad. It was hard to tell exactly what she was feeling. A month later, the news finally stopped talking about Rico's retirement. However, I haven't seen Miss Kawaguchi since. I had fallen for her after spending so much time with her and was sad about not being able to see her. The problem was the fake relationship. There wasn't supposed to be any real love or romance between us, but the reality was that I had fallen for her. I'm sure she won't understand, no matter what I say now. I've always liked you, Ishikawa. That's why I thought it was my chance when you brought me my homework from school. I always liked you as Kawaguchi, not as Rigo, but... Then I ended up causing this much of a mess for you. What am I doing? I shouldn't have done anything with you. Huh? It's me! Ishikawa? I snuck into her backyard and was throwing a rubber ball at her window. I know it's a little bad, but I figured this would be the only way I could see you. I like you, Miss Kawaguchi! No, you like Rico, right? No, I like you, Kawaguchi! The calm and cute Kawaguchi! Really? Yeah, I'm sure you're not looking at me, though. That's not true at all. I've always liked you. Huh? That's why I figured when you came over, it was my chance and asked you out. But that was as a fake boyfriend, right? I said that, but I didn't really mean it. Seriously? Yeah. I want to go out for real. Yeah. Not as a fake boyfriend and girlfriend, but as a real boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's do it. That's how we started going out. And that's how Rico stopped being the idol Rico. There were some rumors at school that said Kawaguchi was Rico, but that disappeared too. She looked too bland to be Rico. Or so everyone thought. But to me, she was perfect as Miss Kawaguchi. Why are you dating a boring girl, Minato? You jealous? No, I just figure there are a lot of other, better girls. It's fine, as long as I know what's nice about Kawaguchi. It would be bad if people found out how she really looked. I'm sure she would be overwhelmed with everyone asking her out. That's why I was fine with how things were. I'm sure it's the same with Rico, too. I'm fine with going out with the boring old Rico. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.